Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Is the Bureau of Labor Statistics annual refiling survey mandatory? Picture this. A survey lands in your mailbox, stamped with the authority of the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS. It's the annual refiling survey, ARS. The name itself sounds pretty official, doesn't it? But let's dive into what this survey is all about before we reveal if it's a must-do on your to-do list. The BLS is like the nation's economic scorekeeper. It keeps tabs on employment, wages, and a basket of other workplace stats. Their work is crucial for understanding the labor market. And guess what? The annual refiling survey plays a part in this big picture. Businesses across the country receive the ARS, which asks for updated information. This could include changes in business ownership, company structure, or location. Think of it as the BLS doing a little spring cleaning on its data shelves each year. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Is the ARS mandatory? Drumroll, please. Yes. If your business is selected, you're legally obliged to complete the survey. It's not just a polite request. It's backed by the law under Title 29, United States Code, Sections 1, 9. So why should you care? Well, the data collected helps to keep unemployment insurance, UI rates accurate. That's a pretty big deal for both employers and employees. Completing the ARS isn't just about following rules. It's about contributing to a clearer understanding of the labor market. It's a civic duty that helps shape economic policy and programs. And if you're ever in doubt about the process, the BLS is there to help. They provide guidance and support for businesses to make the survey submission as smooth as peanut butter. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.